Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. Today we're talking brushes because I want to emphasize how important they are. They can make your life so much easier. Though I think if you are technically skilled with applying makeup and things like that, you can make just about anything work. These you just don't really have to think about. They're always good. The price is phenomenal and I just wanted to share them with you guys. So I have a couple top picks. I honestly think if you had only these brushes you could probably get by in a very very basic basic way they're all available at integrity botanicals so i will link them all down below for you the majority are delium tools because those are my favorite and the price is ridiculous but let's just get started so i'm going to start off with face i picked two face brushes and the first one is one that i wouldn't typically pick but it is the delium tools nine four Eight. Now all the Delium Tools brushes that Integrity Botanicals carries are sustainable because they are made from bamboo and they are all synthetic fibers so they are vegan and cruelty free just so you guys know. Anyway, the 948 is just this fat this this flat synthetic brush has a little bit of density to it this way but is pretty just not too loose and not too tightly packed so it has a little bit of give when you bend it you can see but it's not like hard like a rock so I love this because with falling in love with cream beauty I've fallen in love with a lot of cream foundations and I think this is the best way to at least initially apply the product I think it will just apply it smooth and evenly I think you will get the most coverage out of it but I use this to blend out my entire foundation down my neck as well if you find that this is too streaky for you you would go ahead in with a sponge or um, a synthetic more like buffer brush but for applying cream products I think this is amazing this goes for cream contour as well you could do a little cream br uh, cream blush with this and I also like to soften the blush lines with this once I've applied the foundation I mean you guys probably haven't seen me do a video basically without this I think it is fantastic and for the price you cannot go wrong they wash beautifully as well so another brush that I absolutely love is the Dallium Tools 964. I believe this is marketed as a blush brush, but I love this brush because of its versatility. So you can see from the side, it is relatively loose, pretty loosely packed with decently long bristles and a nice oval shape. I love this because for blush, of course, you just dab, 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 or blends away like this. I use it for bronzer all the time. You guys have seen me do that in my videos because it has that nice sort of, not a taper towards the front, but it is a little bit um, more narrow than say down here. So you could go ahead and apply the bronzer and the hollows and down the neck. I also think if you were doing your highlighter in a way that wasn't too precise, you just go ahead in with this it's just one of those blush the, those brushes that are good for everything you can even set the t-zone with some powder another thing i use it with good multi-purpose brush you can't really go wrong with one of these you need at least one in your collection the next brush i wanted to shed some light on is the delium tools 733 and some of you might be like what the heck is that i think they market it as a mascara brush it might be an eyebrow brush but this is a spoolie and i use it for my eyebrows so when you get it it'll come straight up like this there's just a little piece of wire um through the middle so you can bend it but i always like to bend mine to the side a little bit because i find that it's easier to comb through the brows just like exactly like your brow shape and i like to brush up and then i brush these down anyways why is this fabulous well this helps dispense product throughout the brows that helps blend your eyebrows essentially. So I think this is specifically amazing if you're using a powder, like say the Well People Capitalist pigment that I am often using on this channel, but I just, I just love it. Like I said, blends the product beautifully. I feel lost if I don't have this. I feel like my eyebrows don't look right. It just really is a game changer and I wanted to show you guys that one. Next eye brush, we have the Delium Tools 785. You guys all saw this coming. I don't think there's a single tutorial that I could do without this brush. Love it because it's super long, super loosely packed, but still has a nice taper to it. So while you can just do an all over light wash of the lid, this is perfect for applying right in the crease. This is normally what I'm building up 
all my crease shades with, but you could also do your brow bone color with this, and I've even used it for an inner corner highlight before. It's just one of those brushes, you can use it for everything, but I start out every makeup look essentially with this. I love it because it's good at diffusing products, but it's also narrow enough where you can do some detail work in the crease. This is essential. This, if no other brush, I think, it might be this one. I just really love it. So rounding out the eye brushes is one from Kier Weiss. I have fallen in love with the Kier Weiss brushes. They have such a nice weight to them that really makes using them so nice, especially if you're doing makeup on someone else. They're just really luxurious and they are gorgeous. Come on, they're white. How pretty is that? And this is the Kier Weiss Definition Brush. So I love this brush because I cannot do any look without putting something on that lower lash line. Look at how dense this brush is. Does not have a ton of give to it, but it does have a little bit. For instance, I use it I use it today to smudge out my liner on the top lash. So I, I had some tape here earlier and I applied the Antonym Noir eyeliner. I went and I smudged this and I brought it just the tiniest bit into the crease. Because it has that density, it allows you to blend out the products, but it also applies the perfect little amount of color right down here. Will the color be more concentrated? Yes, but then if you wanna blend it, you can go in with your 777. This brush is phenomenal, and again, you can do really precise outer V work with this as well if you wanted to. And the inner corner, look at this, all these brushes, so, so versatile. It just kinda of depends if you want, how precise you wanna be, what kind of mood you're in, how much time you have things like that. And I had to include this one as my last pick because this one is fantastic. This is the Gressa Lip Brush and this brush is nice and long. It has a pointed tip which I don't normally love. I normally love a square tip, but this, it just, the way that it bends, it's just so easy to get the shape of your lip. It's easy, it doesn't make the color all streaky because when it fans out, it covers a good amount of surface area. It's just if I had to pick any lip brush, it's this one, but if you do want a more travel friendly one, I recommend the Kier Weiss because you can throw that in your purse, but I just love the shape of this one so, so much. It's so useful, especially if you're doing a crisp, crisp red lip. It's fabulous. All right, you guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. These are my top brush picks, but that's not to say I don't love many other brushes. If there's something in particular you guys are looking for, do let me know. Delium Tools also does sets, so if there is a set that has a few of these brushes in one, I will link those down below for you, and I will have prices listed down below as well. These brushes are amazing. They're gonna make your makeup life so much easier, so I'll have them all linked down below so you guys can shop. And thank you so much for watching as always. Thank you for all the love and support. Don't forget to follow us on social as well. It's gonna be down there with the links so you can keep up with us and all the things that we are up to. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.